Good evening, everyone, and welcome to a new episode of Trails of Cold Steel 4, The End of Saga. Last time, we started the prologue, and we got to hang out with our old friends Lloyd, Estelle, Joshua, Ellie, and Ren, and Kia too, of course. And as we were traveling up the Orcus Tower to find out the truth of what happened two weeks ago, we were set upon by the Icy Maiden, Black Albrick, and Maribel Croy. This game is not messing around. They're sending off the big guns right, as, right at us right from the start. In any case, we received the information we needed, and uh, the bad guys just laughed. I mean, their goal's already complete. What the heck are we going to do about it? Who knows? In any case, we still have to find out the truth. And we have to save Erebonia from this curse. So, let's do that, shall we? Yuna, Yuna wake up. Yuna, wake up. Huh? Funky. Oh. Yuna Crawford. This is creepy. Were you up late last night? Yeah, she was reading her recipe book until late. Why are they wearing the main academy uniforms is the question. I mean, this seems like a dream, but... Anyway, that's Kurt Vander and Altino Orion. We know who they are. Al, Kurt, why, and those uniforms? <laughs> Sleeping Beauty still half awake, huh? <laughs> and, and who are you studying recipes for, huh? Muse, Ash. Why are you here, Ash? Wow, aren't you awfully relaxed? The bell's gonna ring soon. You should snap out of it. Huh? huh? Ada? Fritz? From the main school? Huh? Why are you two here? Oh dear, are you really doing okay? <gasps> Crown Prince Cedric? Why are you here? Why? Because it's the norm, of course. We're classmates, after all. What? Did you forget? The main branch schools were integrated and classes were reorganized. The Prince, Ada, and Prince all transferred over to our Class 7. That was already two weeks ago now. <laughs> They're the newbies, but we ought to wear these new uniforms. Ash, us aside, that's rude to the prince, isn't it? What the fuck is this dream? <laughs> well, the progress of our curriculum wasn't exactly the same after all. You can say that there was almost no confusion caused by the transfer. Huh. Okay, I get it. <laughs> Guess I was just having a bad dream. <sighs> so tired. Good morning, everyone. Uh, 
Who's that? Uh, so class seven's all accounted for. I'll announce today's curriculum. I'm sorry that we still haven't selected your homeroom teacher. Please follow along with us for now and do your best. Yes, Instructor Mary. We're looking forward to working with you, Instructor Makarov. Right. Well then, first will be Applications of Information Processing 1. I see. Oh, of course. We won't have a homeroom teacher for a while. Oh, that's no good. I gotta pay attention in class. What the hell are we... What the hell kind of fever dream are we in? Those were comfortable, fulfilling days. What the hell? <laughs> Surrounded by colleagues that were all top tier, it was tough to keep up sometimes. But that was how we spent our student life, full of mutual encouragement with each other. Ooh. Of course, it wasn't just in class either. In clubs, in private, we gave it our all and enjoyed life to the fullest. Well, this isn't a bad dream, but... It's just a dream. It's not reality. But, I wonder why. I felt like something wasn't enough. A voice that was leading us. A calming voice that wouldn't leave us alone. A person who was intrusive sometimes, but who was always looking over us. He wasn't that much older, but he was so much farther ahead of us. Who was that person again? This is creepy. This is creepy and unsettling. What the hell is going on? Were we unable to escape from the uh, Grail of Erebos? Is this how the curse is affecting us? Yuna? You've been absent-minded all day. Are you worried about something? Oh, sorry, sorry. But you've really grown, haven't you, Al? I don't think you would have mentioned something like that when we first started here. <laughs> well, I was trained, after all. By you. And... Um... Al? You're not the only one, then, are you? Sorry, I'm not the only one, then, am I? What do you mean? I'm on a mission from the branch school from the intelligence division. And I'm also that person's... Alright, I've decided. Let's go out for a bit, Al. You want to go out now? 
You won't feel better just sitting in the room here, right? Well, I guess it's late, so we'll have to stay inside the dorms, but... I'm sure not everyone's asleep yet. How about we talk to Kurt and the others? Sure. I'll come along with you. Alright, let's go! Just explaining you can use the map and stuff to see where you're going and all that. We can't answer the uh, status screen for now. Anyway, we can see they've uh, changed some of the room orders here. Oh, he's not here. I don't sense him here. He must be out. It's late, though. I'm sure he's not outside. Alright, let's keep looking. Right. Well, he's not here. Well, I better check the basement next. And of course he'd be in the training room. Whew. Yo, that was awesome! Your swordsmanship is as beautiful as ever, Kurt. Yuna, Altina. It's pretty late. What's up, guys? Altina and I just wanted a change of scenery. You too, Kurt? I thought you usually trained in the mornings. Yeah, I just had the desire to take up my sword. I feel like I'm so close to getting it, but then something keeps getting in my way. At a time like this, I'd go talk to him and... Huh? Alright, you're in too then, Kurt. Let's go on a journey. Uh, I don't really get it, but are you planning to go into town? No, all the stores are closed. But this has been on my mind for a while. Who is our homeroom teacher? Um, well... For the three months before the prince and the others transferred in two weeks ago. Someone who we knew well, even before Ash and Muse joined us. This might not be something important, but... For some reason, I feel like I have to know the answer. Yuna. I understand. Alright, count me in until we figure this out. Now that I think about it, when did we start wearing these uniforms? And when did we get those other instructors? I can't remember the names of the teachers at the accounting and tactical branches of the main at the branch school. Well, when you lose something, you just need to find it again. If it's that important to us, then for sure. The third floor. That's where the instructors are. Then let's go. Oh, and I want to mention, I found a machine translated guide, so I can at least sort of pick up on where to go. Anyway, Ash and Fritz are in their room, but my script says go talk to Cedric first, so let's see what Crown Dick deal, the Crown Prince Dickweed is up to. I'm gonna just call him Crown Dick. I fucking hate you, Kurt. I fucking hate you, Cedric, you piece of garbage jerk. Yeah. Your Majesty, you're studying late tonight, aren't you? Oh, that's right. You were invited to the tea ceremony club late last night, right? Yeah, and he attended swimming club practice as well. Perhaps you should take care of yourself a little bit more. <laughs> Don't be naive. Even with all these relaxing club activities, I still have much more free time than I did back at the main campus. 
I'm actually worried about whether or not you guys can keep up with me. Oh, you're as rude as ever, you know that? Yuna, I really think you need to learn how to control your tongue sometimes. <laughs> it's no use telling her that now. And there's no need to worry about me, Kurt. More importantly, I'll be counting on you for practice tomorrow morning. Right, it'll be no trouble at all. Oh, I can't, like, pull out my weapons here either. Jeez. Oh well. I tried. Damn it. It's like, Ash is right there. Let me talk to him. Nope, you're uh, talking to Muse and Ada. Once you find them. Muse, Ada. Oh, you two share a room. That's right. They didn't before. Oh, come now, Yuna. You've been here to visit so many times now. You were acting odd in homeroom today, too. You should finally get used to us being here by now. Mm, hold on one second. Sorry about that. Something happened. Something happened that I need to deal with. Hopefully it's dealt with now. <sighs> well, the past two weeks have been quite busy, so I am understand, but... It might be necessary to accept the current state soon. Accept it? It's not as if we're refusing to accept students from the main school. In any case, it is already late. Perhaps you should not be loitering around the dorm. Well, since we're all here, how about we have some girl talk? Ada just recently joined the literature club, after all. Uh, Muse, there's a boy here, you know. Why are you bringing that up now? And I still haven't decided if I like that type of literature yet anyway. <laughs> Muse is the same as ever. I'm worried about the literature club, Tatiana included. <laughs> Seems like we should be worried about Ash, though. Alright, finally I can go talk to Ash. Because apparently he's rooming with Fritz now, which is really weird. I don't think they'd get along very well. I keep telling you I don't need this! Oh, come on, man. Just be a little bit more honest with yourself. Ash, Fritz, what's going on? It's nothing. <laughs> Apparently Unibrow over here is interested in some Grab Your Magazines. I was just about to lend him some, out of the kindness of my heart. I didn't ask for them, it was a misunderstanding. I was just glancing at what was on your desk out of curiosity, that's all. So that's enough, don't pull me into it. Huh, <sighs> so that's what you guys do. They're beyond help. Don't lump us all guys in the same package, though. <laughs> oh, dear. There's a nameplate here. Clearly says Reen on it, even though it's scratched out. Oh. This is it. This is definitely the place. Although, I've only come to visit here a few times. Oh. Well, this room's the same as ever. Huh? Calligraphy and...
Reen, Kyoko. Instructor Reen. Okay. Looks like we're back to reality. Hopefully. What a strange... What a strange turn of events. Huh? Uh, was that a dream? Yeah, it seems like it. You saw it too, Kurt? Yeah. I can only assume that we were having the same dream at the same time. And... Altina as well. Aww, they're sleeping in the same bed. I, I've remembered. I was carried into that dark grail. I tried to protect everyone, and then Milliam. No. No. Hal. But that's true. Balamar went on a rampage. We tried to call out to the instructor, but we couldn't get through to him. Well, let us begin, Reen. To dye the world with despair. The fairy tale of the end. What Chancellor Osborne said at the end there. What happened since then? Everyone, you're awake? <sighs> That's a relief. Oh. Emma and Randy? And I'm here as well. Roselia? Why in the world? And where are we? Well, you'll be surprised. But you can relax here. This is my grandmother's atelier. And my family home. Your family home? They woke up? Yeah, it seems like it. Oh, all of Class 7's here. With a few notable exceptions. God damn it. Everyone. Thank goodness you're awake. I was worried about what's gonna happen to you guys. Yeah, there's some good news amongst all this despair. Are you okay? No, of course you aren't. Not after all that happened. Tina, no. I don't blame you. After everything that went down, and you've been asleep for two weeks, you must feel weak. We were out for two weeks? In any case, you should eat first. Even just soup is fine. We'll get something for you. I'm confused as well, but we'll talk later. Right, I'll prepare it right away. What in the world is going on here? Your family home? It's an atelier. So we aren't in the capital anymore?
Oh, we're in some forest. And there's Pleroma flowers blooming everywhere. And those aren't Pleroma flowers, those are the, uh, Aaron flowers. <laughs> Allow me to introduce myself as the leader. Welcome to the Hexen Clan stronghold, located in the midst of the dark forest. The hidden Aran village. <clears throat> August 1st. So you don't know where the others are? Randy Orlando. Vermilion Roselia. Emma Milstein. Right. Unfortunately, if I was only a bit stronger, I would have been able to transport more people. What's going on? <laughs> the grail is completing. The space is regressing to normal. Everything's distorting. Emma! Yes, I know. Oh, she lost her hat and her glasses. That's why. What is this? A shift to the outside? Yes. We'll fly to where my grandmother is. Leave the rest to me. Understood. Please. Be careful. Emma? Everyone, I'll transport you out. Understood, but the instructor is... Come on, we don't have time for this. Celine, wait! What? Ah! Instructor! Anyway, we have to get out of here. All of you, come here and hang on to Altina. What the hell? Muse? What, what is that? Krianos? No. Vita's magic? Yes, it seems to be a tool from a deceased familiar that can be used to escape. I took it along just in case, but it seems it'll come in handy after all. Uh, who are you? Yuna, Kurt, Altina. I'm sorry, but this is a goodbye. Huh? The twilight has begun. It's become necessary to move on all fronts. I'll forever treasure these few months I spent with you. Please, be well. And we'll take care of Ash. 
What? Musei, wait! Yuna, no! The space is distorting. We need to go. Now! Damn. I knew Muse was a witch. Or something. So, that's what happened while I was unconscious. Who in the world is Muse? I sense something unusual about her, but she was connected to Vita. Yes, it seems she learned the basics from Sister at least. Gordon and young Alvarea, she's a girl in an incredible position. If you want the details, I suggest you ask him. I see. Instructor, we don't have any memories after that, but... Why are you with the new Class 7? Well, it isn't actually more than a coincidence. Well, jeez. Time for all the flashbacks. <gasps> Grandmother! You're back! Set up the spirit path, now! Hey, are you okay? Huh? Randy! It's no good. We won't make it. I'll get the others out with the partition. Please, take care. Director Tio, Instructor Toa, Luis, Jessica too, Leonora, and Tita, Sydney, and all the others. That was two weeks ago now. Well, the battle in the Grail was fierce. Especially for you, as you were in the soul dots that were resonating with the Divine Knight. Exhausting spiritual power is not something to be taken lightly. Truth is, we only woke up a few days ago ourselves. I was finally able to return to my normal physical condition. Now, Emma! We don't know where that cat Selene ended up, right? Well, she is a spiritually connected entity to Emma. You'll certainly know in the unlikely case something happens to her. Otherwise, you just have to wait for now. Right but I don't sense her presence at all. Even during the Civil War, when we were apart, I was always able to sense her. She must be a thing like Clam Soleil is to you. Or, she must be a similar thing to you as Clam Soleil is to me. <laughs> Al, that's right. After what happened to Milliam. She was used as a sacrifice to complete the ceremony that brought the curse. Not just you guys, I'm worried about Reen too. Instructor Reen! Everyone. Yubo. Kurt. Alkaji. There's no mistake, your instructor was taken prisoner by the Iron Blood. That transformed Ashen Chevalier and the Sword of Demise. We can be certain that Selene is caught up with them as well. Right. Yeah. 
you'll never be able to decide what to do with such disorder in your hearts. Spend some time relaxing in this village, to rest your body and mind. And there's a relaxing bath here filled with a calming aura. Maybe that will help. I see a person popping in and out. They're not staying for long, but... I hope they're enjoying themselves at least. It's a pretty nice hidden village. It's like the Shire. It says Ellen, but I'm calling this place Aaron. It's pretty. Yeah, it's a hidden village in the middle of the forest. It feels like a fairy tale. How about we walk around for a while, okay? Yeah, it might be a good idea to catch up, catch up with our Class 7 upperclassmen. They must be suffering as much as we are. Right. But it's important to talk it out. About everything that happened back then, and what we plan to do from now on. Yeah, we got the notebook now. And we got the map screen as well, so we can fast travel to places. Look at all these character notes we're getting. Wow, we went down a lot of levels. Considering Estelle and them were level 85, sucks to be down all the way to 28 again. Uh, but what can you do? What can you do? Let's talk to Laura. She's probably having a really tough time of it right now. Oh, hello guys. Are you feeling better? Laura S. Arsaid. Yeah, but we were asleep so long, I feel sort of dull. Not to bring it up again, but regarding the Viscount... Oh... I've heard they already carried out a funeral. Including one for Prince Oliver, the other crew, and Toval as well. Because the ship was completely incinerated, it seems their bodies were burned up as well. If there were remains then, or if I had been there for the funeral... Because I wasn't, I still don't have any feelings to this day. It's quite pathetic. Laura... We understand. Not to mention, Reen, Celine, and Milliam. The Sword of Arsade is supposed to be everyone's encouragement at a time like this. What is the point of our family tradition? I haven't grown at all. Oh. My apologies. Please, forget you heard this. Complaining will accomplish nothing. You're all awake now. We need to consider how to act from here. Jeez, Laura's taking it harder than I thought. Uh. I hope things get better for her soon. <laughs> 
Anyway, we want to talk to Randy and Machius at the inn. It doesn't seem like an inn would get good business in a hidden village, but that might just be me. Whew. Machius and Instructor Randy? <laughs> it's a pretty strange pairing when you think about it. Machius Regnitz. <laughs> I don't know about that. Yeah, after all, I got to know Maki-chan here three months ago during the training. He wound up using the special support section building a lot, and he checked up on it for us. I see. So that's what happened. Um, Instructor Randy, who is this Maki-chan? Hey, I've been asking him to stop with that too, you know. <laughs> oh, don't be so modest. I just don't have a lot of nicknames for the boys. But it's sort of different from just being on a first name basis, you know? Now that you mention it, you have nicknames for Yuna and Altina as well. I don't recall giving you permission to call me Alkichi, though. And I never gave him permission to call me Yubo either. I'm glad Machius inherited that crossbell spirit. Let's talk to his boyfriend, who's looking sad on a bench here. Ugh, I'm sorry, Eusus. Losing a surrogate little sister like that's gotta be tough. That's... Milliam's hat? Yeah, somehow after that distortion, I ended up holding on to it. Maybe it returned to someone connected with her. I see. Ryan. Uh, I mean Altina. I thought about giving this to you after you woke up. You should take it. You were her family after all. Uh. No. I want you to hang on to it. I think Milliam would like it better that way. Uh, but... Understood. I'll do just that, then. I know that holding on to it makes it harder to let go, so I thought that would be the perfect opportunity. But it's kind of strange. I feel relieved that I still have it now. Though... The Empire's cursed now, and we need to think of our next move. What is our next move? Uh, oh, wait a second. Does that have something to do with Muse? Oh. Oh, right. Instructor Randy did tell us. Yes, I've already summarized the situation to the other Class 7 members. I figured I'd tell you too once you all woke up, of course. Make sure you follow along. I'm not going to repeat myself. So she's the next Duchess of Cayenne. Mildine Yuzalith de Cayenne. I finally understand. Of course, the Intelligence Division had already figured out as much. Is that really true? She... Muse, I mean, did speculate that something might happen in the capital. Wait, so knowing that something was going to happen, she gathered her top-tier fighters? Right. The Weisland Army. That's what she called it. Generals Aurelia and Wallace. And rumor has it Emma's sister is cooperating with them as well. They command an army some tens of thousands strong, headquartered on the reclaimed Pantagruel. Perhaps they intend to combat the Chancellor in their own way. R really? Well, tens of thousands is a lot of people, but compared to the Imperial Army... Doesn't the Imperial Army have over 80,000 men? 
Yes, and that number will only grow with the National Mobilization Act. At that rate, it is a courageous, but doomed resistance to put up a fight. They must be thinking. Knowing that, she still intends to make use of the four great houses. It seems that they'll begin to move independently once the, four, once the army begins to move. And, knowing that girl, she's already plotting countermeasures against the Chancellor. She's so calculating and cunning that even Marcos Higharms and I have our own reservations. But I figure she'll be able to take care of herself at least, and she won't do anything too risky. Neither Marcos Higharms nor myself were able to see her true attentions in the end. In that sense, it's necessary to determine how far she'll move her own forces in addition to those of the government. Especially since I'm a member of the Four Great Houses myself, and family of one of our enemies, Governor Rufus Alberea. Eusis. I just heard so much my head is spinning. But to think that Muse was carrying that much responsibility with her. Yeah. The situation is complicated. Even we are unsure of how we should act now. Your instructor was the center of the old Class 7, and he's missing right now. But we can probably find our path together now. <laughs> he told us a lot. I think I can start to see the big picture a little bit. It must be tough for him, too. Right. He also has to bear the burden of the instructor not being here. Yes. Hey, Pats fan. Nice of you to show up. Oh, we were rescued into the uh, Hexen Clan village, and we're just uh, exploring and talking to our senpai right now. Um, I think I have link sharing. I'm not entirely sure. I want to go ahead and see what happens. As long as it's not like porn or something. I happen to find a machine translated guide. I've got maps at least that I can work with. Is it, uh... GameKoruyaku.info? Something Sen no Kiseki 4? Okay, yeah, it didn't work. Sorry, I thought I had, uh... thought I had, uh... Links allowed on here, but I guess I don't. My bad. I tried. Oh, hey guys, it looks like you're awake now. Elliot Craig. Gaius Warzel. Hmm, you don't look so pale anymore either. Yeah, and it's thanks to all of you. Elliot, Gaius, you really saved us in the Grail. Yeah, we can't thank everyone from Old Class 7 enough for what you've done. <laughs> we all work together. Although I had the power, I was not able to use it correctly. Gaius? I'm sorry, it's just an idle complaint. It's just proof that I still have a long way to go.
Okay, I got your, uh... Okay, I got your, uh... Thing there. I've got one as well that I found, so... Uh, my Google Translate is terrible, so I'm kind of just... Mucking around with it. In any case, I'm gonna finish off this thing here. You're one of the Dominion of the Grawls Ritter, right? <sighs> Gaius must be under his own pressure and troubles, too. Yeah, he is. Well, anyways, you guys just woke up. I hope you feel better soon. Don't overdo it now. Thanks for your concern. But yeah, I can definitely make do with that guide. At least for a few things. <laughs> uh, let's uh, talk to Emma and Roselia here. Ah, you three are walking around then. You're feeling all rested then? Well, slowly but surely. We really can't relax though. I think we'll start to feel better once we get moving. By the way, Muse used a magical implement in the Grail, didn't she? Something about a deceased familiar. Yes, Sister used to have a familiar called Grianos, just like Selene was for me. But Grianos was killed by Governor Rufus at the end of the Civil War. Uh, by the Governor? So that's what happened. I remember that as well. Unlike Selene, it couldn't speak the human tongue. To Vita and the others, it was re irreplaceable. In any case, we have not lost Selene in the same way. Roselia. Like she said before, in the unlikely event that something were to happen to Selene, I would know about it. So please, don't worry about her. I see. Now then, let's stop the depressing talk. I've told you before, but please try to relax and enjoy yourselves for now. Right. Thank you. Well... Let's go check out the bathhouse. Hmm, this is a dressing room, so there must be an onsen here. Huh, a hot spring in the witch's town? That seems kind of mysterious. Well, I don't really feel like getting in right now. Right, let's come back another time. <laughs> oh, you teases. No hot spring bonding events for you. This is a nice little general good store for a, uh... For a witch's village. Seriously. Uh... No, I have no mirror to exchange. Yeah, I'm sure I'll manage, eventually. Okay. Anyway, let's, uh... Before I talk to Elisa, the guide has me talking to Sarah first, so... We'll do that. Let uh, Gandalf here. 
which got translated as Ganondorf. Let's see what V and Sarah are doing. Are you two tuning your orbments? Sarah Valestine. Yep, we can't afford to just sit around here. V. Clacelle. In this situation, I would have loved to ask Toval for help with Orbal Arts. And I'd love to get in touch with Mick, too. Sarah. V. Hmm. So, do you have any idea what the Bracer Guild's doing in the midst of all this? No, I haven't been able to get in contact with any of them yet, after all. Originally, it was just Agate, but I wonder if the other Bracers who were supposed to come to the Empire have arrived yet. <laughs> as soon as we get back to it. In any case, we might as well try to relax for a little while. The old Class 7 hasn't fully recovered yet, either. And you guys just woke up, too. Right. Understood. Okay, so he's not letting me do anything with my orbits this early in the game. That sucks. Anyway, we can bug Elisa now, so let's go ahead and do that. I'm not exactly sure how, I ex how they expect me to pull that off. <laughs> Good job, Pats fan. I know I never do. It took me like three playthroughs of Cold Steel 2 to get all the enemies. Hmm. Elisa! Are you feeling okay? Oh, hey guys. You already look much better than before. But don't push yourselves, okay? You were asleep for two weeks, after all. Yeah, I still feel a little weak. Were you shopping for books? Yeah, they actually have a lot of rare books here, so I was just browsing. Actually, I originally came in to buy a copy of the Imperial Times that should have arrived. Uh, how is that possible, though? They said that this place existed between dimensions, though, right? Yeah, but the villagers here frequently visit the outside world, and they always bring back stuff when they do. For instance, the Imperial Chronicle arrived the day after we got here. Elisa, are you scared of reading it by any chance? <laughs> How pathetic. That's right. Horrible things are already going on. The Empire's fallen into ruin. The Great Twilight Ceremony? Everything that's happened to Reen, to Milium, Laura's dad, and the person behind all those things. Elisa. I'm sorry. I'm supposed to be your senpai, after all. I need to understand what my mother is doing at a time like this, too. Plus, we need to figure out what Sharon's up to now that she's returned to the society. I'm going to buy the paper. You guys rest up, okay? Hey, Kefka. And yeah, Elisa is still jonesing for that reen magic. Black Albrick, right? But he was really Franz Reinford, Elisa's father. Yeah, he was also the one who made Milliam and me. It's gotta be so tough for her, but she's acting so brave. But at this rate, what can we even do? 
Hope you're having a good time. Because nobody in Class seven's having a good time. <sighs> what do we do now? We went all over. How about we head back to Roselia's atelier for now? <laughs> I'm looking forward to getting that far. Anyway, we're gonna head back to the atelier here. I think. <laughs> uh, that's kind of impressive. Anyway. Sorry, I'm just standing around here. I'm just checking to see if there's anything I'm missing, but trying to mess around with this guide is a bit, uh, it's a bit difficult for me. Whatever. Just go for it. This is the world we live in. Everyone's really having a hard time, just like we thought. Yeah, especially Elisa, Laura, and Eusis. I feel like I understand just how much Milliam was loved. Yeah, and the instructor really did support everyone. Not just us, but everyone in the old Class 7 too. Right. He wasn't just the center of their group, he was the foundation of it. He was supporting them in ways that couldn't even be seen. Well, we don't have our instructor with us now either. Not to mention, we're missing Ash and Muse too. She's the next Duchess of Cayenne. And she's preparing measures to counteract Chancellor Osborne. I still don't fully believe it. But I have this feeling of despair inside. I think there's no doubt she was definitely looking ahead, way more than we were. So why was she so reserved then? She told us to leave Ash to them. We have no idea what she's even planning to do. Right, it's hard to just accept that. Oh, you're already back. Well... I wouldn't say they have no ability to get moving on their own. I think it's just... They are, they're pretty dedicated to Reen, for whatever reason. And I think that's their flaw more than anything. They're too focused on him to kind of see the bigger picture around him. Rose, Randy. Oh dear. Based on those faces, you still don't look too good. Yeah, the old class 7's the same way too. Well, it's not like I don't get where they're coming from. Based on what we've heard so far, the Ironbloods and the Gnomes are quite overwhelming. They seem to be having quite the easy time bringing about the end of the world, after all. Well, um... To make matters worse, five other Divine Knights have appeared besides Valimar. And the last one was that Black Divine Knight that the Iron Blood Chancellor brought forth. Yeah. Yeah, that Black Knight had a particularly special aura, as if it was ruling everything there. <laughs> to be honest, I'm trembling just thinking about it. The other Divine Knights were incredible too, but... Hmm. 
Well, it's clear with the Chancellor piling it, it's something to fear, but... That reminds me. Well then, let us begin, Reen. To die the world with despair. The fairy tale of the end. Why did the Chancellor just call him Reen at the very end? He was more formal than he, when he was talking to him in the capital before. That's a good point. Oh, did that happen? Well... Al? Do you know something? Well, um... Al. Alkichi is in the intelligence division, right? Looks like you know something. Hmm. I was thinking it was strange for a while. The exchanges between the Chancellor and the Instructor, the response of everyone in the old Class 7, and the fact that the Instructor was adopted into the Schwarzer family. Huh? Well, I didn't know he's not related to Elise by blood, but... Oh. <laughs> You're kidding me. As a member of the Vander family, I've heard things. Just before the start of the Hundred Days War, 14 years ago, there was a brutal case in which Osborne's manor was attacked while he was serving in the military. I don't know who the perpetrator was, but it seems like he lost his family. They found his wife's corpse, but never any remains from his son. Ah! So that's how it all fits together. Kurt, you're really sharp. It's the eyes of intuition that the instructor taught me. Discard your preconceptions and see through to the truth. From the looks of it, I'm not mistaken. You are not. Two years ago, in the Infernal Castle, that truth came to light. I just happened to be on I just happened to be there on a mission for Duke Cayenne. But it seemed that Instructor Reen and all of the old Class 7 were shocked by it. I see. Of course they would be, hearing something like that. I see. That's precisely why he was so adamant to combine the strength of his friends to stop the Iron Bloods. <laughs> Yuna? Yuna? Yuna, are you mad? No matter who his parents are, Instructor Reen is. Of course I'm mad! Come on! I swear to Eos, that guy! And all those senpai too? I'm really pissed off right now. Come on, you two. We're gathering them up. I need to say something. No, I need to say a lot of things to all of them. Yuna? Uh, what, what are you planning to do? Oh, jeez. That's definitely a Yubo reaction. Yeah, she's the very embodiment of looking forward, isn't she? <laughs> What? Suno Crawford likes Reen? No way! Nah. It's not like she likes him or anything. After that, Yuna went around the village, gathering up the old Class 7. Seeing her vigor, they had no choice but to come along. <laughs> yep. Everyone's here now. Um, Yuna? 
You said you had something to say. What is it then? Um, it sort of looks like you're mad at us. Yeah, I am incredibly mad at you. Um, Yuna? I don't really get it, but you need to chill out. Kurt? Altina? Hush now, adults are talking. I just heard the truth about Instructor Reen's true father. That blood and iron chancellor, Gileath Osborne. Uh, well, um, I see. You figured it out. But Yuna, don't think badly of Reen. He's been suffering forever. The Chancellor's been making unreasonable requests of him ever since. Right. It's far worse than the conflict I have with my own brother. But he never broke. He kept pursuing his own purpose. Right. Even in the Northern Campaign. Almost to a fault. I know that. Maybe not as much as you guys, but I know that. But, this is something I believe us new Class 7 understands. That at this very moment, Instructor Reen is suffering. Oh. I mean... Back then... I was always seeing it with my own eyes. The instructor was always desperately throwing his entire self in to stop the Chancellor. Failing to do that, he threw himself in front of us to protect us. That's true. Desperately trying to protect that person. Blocking the path to Al. Milliam came to try and protect him. And sacrificed herself. Becoming the sword. Consumed with his anger and sorrow. The instructor pulled the trigger that would bring about the end of the world. And... His true father is trying to make him do something even further. That's why, I know for a fact, he's blaming himself for everything. I couldn't protect Milliam. I caused something terrible. That's why, we need to grab him by the collar of his jacket. And scream in his face! You're wrong! You know you're wrong! Until he gets it! Isn't that the duty only we can carry out? Yubo. <laughs> if you won't do it, we'll do it as the students. I owe him an incredible debt. I'll definitely find him, and make him understand. Not as a Vander, but as a member of the Thor's branch school, Class 7. The instructor has always guided me patiently. He always told me to think for myself, to decide for myself. That is what it means to be me. So that's why, I'm going to decide for myself, right now, to carry on the will of Milliam, who wanted to protect everyone. I'll definitely take him back, and thank him for everything he's done for me. This is good music. She got playing. <laughs> oh brother, you really got us. Yeah, kind of feels like we got surpassed somewhere along the way. They really have grown. 
We woke up before you, but we were just dragging our feet here. We got totally consumed in our sorrow and regrets and didn't realize what we had to do. Oh, come on, this is embarrassing. I need to snap out of it. Oh, guys. That's true. You're right. I want to protect everyone. Those were Milliam's exact words. Then allow us to once again personify that spirit. For our clumsy, dear friend who can't stop putting everyone before himself. And to carry out the great promise we made with him and Milliam. We need to stop the war on the surface. We need to find the truth of the underworld. We need to make that promise come true. Don't forget about Crow. It seems like he got his memories back. Yeah. We just need to beat that delinquent over the head till he comes to our side. <laughs> we do indeed. There's plenty of things we need to do. That new law that just passed, for instance? Right. We also need to investigate the black Floromo flowers that showed up after the ceremony. Oh dear. It's like this every time you guys are together. Thank goodness. So now... Yep. It all begins now. We need to find Muse and Ash, too. And everyone from the branch school, of course. Yeah, we do. We're gonna take it all back. You can count on us for support. We need to thank you. You snapped us out of it. Thanks. In the face of this adversity, the true worth of Class 7 has been called into question. But now, there's no distinction between the old and new Class 7. Yes, we are all comrades and equals, pushing towards the same goals. Let's combine our strengths and push the way through. Right. Yuna's amazing. I'm so glad Yuna was able to snap them all out of it. She's like Mini Estelle. Imperial airspace. Flying airship. Pantagruel. Is it? I think it is. Definitely looks like it. It's 220. We have just passed through the search range of the third fleet. Good. Stand down to alert level 2. Set course to starboard. North, northwest. Yes, commander. Your soldiers are indeed well trained. Each of them serves his role. If you were all at full force during the Civil War, I wonder how it would have ended up. Well, the result probably would have ended up the same. It might have lasted a little longer, though. Although, I still would have wondered what would happen if we had a different supervisor in charge. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> Don't overestimate me. Mildine Yuzalith de Cayenne. It's only thanks to all of you that I am safely on this ship. You are the one who arranged this, though, did you not? 
Yes. Seeing tens of thousands moves ahead, superior to even the Chancellor. You might be a suitable anguist of the society yourself. <laughs> I would certainly like to meet the legendary Grand Master myself. But, even after that, I wasn't able to prevent the Great Twilight. I am full of regret that I overlooked the gun that Ash took. That was the crossroads. If only I had seen it directly, perhaps I could have stopped him. The goddess's plans, or perhaps that itself is the curse. Yes, a force that throws causality into chaos. But I am truly impressed that you were able to devise a counterattack. It is a truly reprehensible, horrible plan. However, by taking the world hostage, I won't be able to face the instructor or the others. Schwarzer aside, what's Class 7 to do? I believe they were transported to the Witch's Village, were they not? Yes, it seems so. Apart from Crow, and Ash, that is. I am unaware of whether they have recovered after seeing the worst possible ending. I'm sure they'll be fine. Knowing Yuna, Kurt, and Altina, they're gonna drag their senpai out of that despair and start walking forward again. I was in their class after all. I know how that's. I know that's how they are. <laughs> class Seven's gonna save Araponia, and this time they're gonna do it right. They failed the last three times, but this time's gonna be different. I swear, guys. Shit. I didn't ask for this. Even if I get stuck in a place like this, you should save your own ass first. Ash's soul dot doing there. Hey, that's... Meanwhile... Wherever the hell this place is... Okay, we're in Osborne's sex dungeon. <sighs> Crow armbrust. Yo, there you are. Oh, it's just you guys. Duvalier the Swift. McBurn, Enforcer Number One, the Almighty Conflagration. <laughs> what do you mean, just you guys? <laughs> Sounds like you got your memories back then. Things are just about to get started. So, what are you planning to do? Ha. <laughs> The contract expired. I'm no longer bound to be his pawn. Therefore, I only have to do my duty as the Azure Awakener. For the short time remaining, until everything ends. Oh. 
Wow. Seriously? Well, this is actually convenient for me. It's my chance to finally battle with that old man for revenge. No need to worry yourselves about that. Well, that's too bad. Well, if you feel like it, I could throw down with you. Seriously, I can't stand that guy. But you're you, so why did you... Oh, have you fallen for me? Oh, that's right. You're in love with your master, aren't you? No, but it might be possible. Absolutely not! Seriously, you, the conflagration, the war orger girl, why do you all treat me like I'm simple-minded? That's because you are. Ah! Oh my God, that was adorable. Well, that aside. What do you intend to do about him? Hmm. It's up to him to decide. But in his current state, I'm not really in the mood to face him. Dong, dong. Oh dear. You're gonna need some stronger chains. Hey, calm down! I have no choice. Splendid. I'm glad you came along. You. Eat shit, George. You fat bastard. Copper George. At least now his rampage is over with. I suppose it's until the contest begins. Won't be too long now, though. Don't mess with me! Who would just go along with you? Come on! Snap out of it already. Do you know how many people are still waiting for you? Isn't that right, Reen Schwarzer? Dong. <laughs> and we get the intro again. Because that's the end of the prologue. <laughs> that was certainly something else. Well, we've uh, put the pieces into place. Guess we have to figure out what to do with them now. And yes, I'm going to let the uh, intro play through here. Again. I'm 
I still love how Sentai as fuck that last pose is. And that's the end of the prologue. Auto save, system save, yada yada. Let's uh let's keep going, shall we? This train has no brakes. Just uh, keeps on chugging along. April 2nd. Quite the atmosphere as usual. What is this? It's supposed to be a labyrinth of trials, managed by the witches, right? Yep. Like I said considerably, your power has fallen quite a lot. To some degree, you have to do some rehab, or there'll be a real threat on your lives. That is true. My stamina feels a lot lower than usual. I feel bad letting the others go on ahead, though. <laughs> the condo coaster. <laughs> uh, that morning... Well then, Randolph, we'll leave Yuna and the others to you. Grandmother, don't overdo it now. Well, I'm an instructor too, you know. We'll train them ourselves for now. Oh. Hmm. You don't need to make that face. It's only for a few days that we'll be apart. We'll begin gathering information while you're being re rehabilitated. But where Reen is, about the National Mobilization Act, as much info as we can get our hands on. As soon as your rehab's complete, feel free to join us on the search. It's probably... No, definitely going to be a very difficult mission. Understood. Yeah. We'll show you that we understand. Best of luck, everyone. Be careful. Please don't overdo it. We're gonna be right behind you. Yeah, we'll be counting on it. May the wind and Adios be with you. Break through these trials with flying colors and catch up to us. <laughs> oh, 
In any case, let's go figure out how weak we've become. So we should head into the ruins and begin capturing it, correct? That's right. When you reach the innermost parts, today's training will be at its end. Orlando, I'm counting on you to lead them. Right, leave it to me. Randy? Um, thank you so much. Is my best bet to grind? I hope not. Even though we don't know where Director Tio or the rest of our classmates are. Well, nothing comes by worrying about her. Tiosuke is quite reliable, you know? Right now, my role is to lead you guys to Reen. Or lead you in place of Reen. Until we meet up with Tiosuke and the students, we need to believe in them. Randy. I'll do my best. We're counting on you for guidance and encouragement. Mm -hmm. Very well then. Yuna, Kurt, Altina, it's time to begin. This is the trial ground established before the departure of the Hexen clan. Let's capture the San Gregor Labyrinth. Hey, we finally get to use Randy, after not being able to for the entirety of Trails of Cold Steel 3. Part 1, Class 7's Trials. This is a nice place. Creepy ass crystals, though. Wow. I feel like this place is full of spiritual energy. Actually, I went through here with the old Class 7 already. It's a pretty tricky place. It'll be quite the challenge for you three as you are now. Um. <laughs> Have we really lost that much of our strength? Well, let's just test it out for now. These in your orbits, please. We don't have the ones you guys were using anymore. Received new master quartz. Oh, our master quartz were taken out of our Arcus twos. Yeah, and the rest of your quartz went missing too. No. Anyway, set these for now. Understood. Um, set your Master Quartz in your Arxis 2 units. You know how Quartz work. It's the same as it was in the last game. And I gotta level them up again, too. I can't even use these sub quartz slots for now. God, this sucks. Guys, this is terrible. I hate this. I feel like I understand how much we lost. Not only our quartz, but our strength and stamina have fallen considerably. Yeah. Without any of those, this is going to be tough. Well, that's why we're here. Nothing can be done about the quartz right now, but let's try to get your strength back. There's also the issue of your orders. Orders? You're talking about brave orders, right? It looks like we can use them with the Arcus 2 just fine, but... Well, you'll see in combat. I'll explain the rest of it during the actual combat. Alright, I'm gonna lead you guys in place of your instructor. Sounds perfect. We're counting on you. Alright, let's begin our capture of this place. Oh, and we got Randy, and he's 22 levels higher than the rest of my party. <laughs> That's fair. 
But you know what's not fair? The setup. Seriously, Randy should be dancing in the front. Alright. Oh, an Orbment charging station. Well, if things get rough, let's return here to use it. This is a Norman charging station. It restores health and EP. We know that. Well then, let's explore the labyrinth then. Okay. Anyway, inside this treasure chest here is a silver chain. I believe that's the poison resist accessory. It's hard to tell where the doors are here. Anyway, here is uh, Tear Bomb, EP Charge 2, and Axel's Medicine. <laughs> Good luck with your final fight. Entirely possible. Anyway, boss fight here. That's a monster? It looks different. Right. It looks closer to a demon. Yeah, I don't think this will be an easy fight. Right. If you don't let your guard down, if you let your guard down, it won't go well. Not to mention the fact that the three higher elements are at work here. But if you make use of your combat links and orders, I'm sure you three will be able to handle it. I see. Combat links and orders. I need to get my intuition back well, as too. Blah. I, I need to get my voice back, apparently. Yeah, let's do it. Links can be set on the tactics page of the main menu. Well, no time like the present. I'm just gonna dig the music here. So it wants us to use an order right away. So. Sledgehammer got buffed, or not buffed, but uh, debuffed a little bit. Because it's 150% uh, damage to break instead of uh, 200. We were able to do it, but did our orders get weaker somehow? It seems like it. I don't think we're just misinterpreting it. Right, you felt it when you used it. What's this about? It doesn't seem to be related to our physical strength. Are your orders okay, Randy? Well, I can use them without a problem, but... It seems like the same thing happened to the old Class 7-2. Although their case was a bit better than yours. According to Rose, this is part of the influence of the curse. The influence of the curse? It even has that kind of effect? But the fact that it's having such a strong effect on us means... We were piloting the soul dots when it happened, so our mana must have been more exhausted than theirs. Well, it's going to be tough not being able to use orders like we were before. Yeah, I think we need to find a way to restore the order's strength. 
We'll have to continue training with the handicap for now, though. You think you can keep up from here on? Yeah, of course. About Brave Orders. Although they have gotten weaker, Brave Orders have various effects and are essential to use in battle with strong enemies. Yuna's is useful for breaking enemies. Use Kurt to shower quick attacks on the enemy. Use Altina if the enemy's power is overwhelming. You should adapt your use of orders to each battle. Combat Notes. The Combat Note contains records of battles and enemies you've encountered. In order to lock all the information inside, you should use arts, crafts, and items. Well then. Well, let's progress, shall we? It's a new type of demon. Seems like this one will be a troublesome foe. Right, we need to handle it carefully. Let's try out gunner mode when it's needed. Use R2 to switch modes for Yuna. And Gunner is where she will stay. That's my jam. Good shit. Good shit, son. Heh, <laughs> that wasn't too bad. Right, I feel like I'm starting to get warmed up. Let's carry on like this, then. Yep, let's keep pushing on. And on, and on, and on! Man, we're not playing Xenoblade. Alright. So, we want to head this way first. There's a treasure chest here. 50 of each type of Sepith. And considering our, uh... What's our Orman situation like here? Okay, so we have uh, all the slots unlocked, but they're all level 1. So... With that in mind... Probably be a good idea to build them up. Hey, Randy. You don't need all these cool quartz, do you? Well, not that many of these are cool, per se. In fact, the only one I'm interested in is taking off this one. Alright. We're gonna head around here first. And we got an HP2 Quartz, which is immediately going to Yuna. I'm detecting a strong enemy. Be on guard. <laughs> yeah, based on looks, this is the strongest one we've seen so far. We'll need to combine orders, links, and arts effectively. We should rely on the co-op attacks we get from combat links. For that, we better try to break enemies. Breaking enemies? That means we should use my order. 
and then we can use the Rush and Burst abilities. Link attacks are very likely to break enemies, but... Sorry, Link, enemy... Link attacks are very likely to break enemies, after all. <laughs> I'm glad your teacher taught you well. You can try out my order now, too. Feel free to put it to the test. Try to figure out the right time to use it. Right, got it. You can use Randy's order, Loud Warrior. Loud Warrior is an attack type and increases damage done to enemies. Using S-Crafts and higher arts with this order will do large amounts of damage. We know. Seriously, they lag behind in levels for that long? That's kind of sad. Wow, rude. Go team. <laughs> oh, and Randy's uh, Beowulf Quartz is at level 2 here. We managed to take it down. We faced enemies of this caliber plenty of times already. Right. We really need to regain the strength that we had before. Thinking about what's waiting ahead for us. <laughs> I know what you guys are thinking, but it's nothing to fret about. Anyway, that should be enough of a minimal review for now. I'll leave the way forward to you guys. Head for the inside and take care of the enemies. Understood, Randy. There's cracks in those stone columns. Leave it to me. Clown Soleil can take care of them. Thanks, Al. I think my weapon could break them too, but Al's or Randy's would be much easier. Well, let's be efficient too. Crack stone pillars and other objects can be broken using field attacks of certain characters with A rank or greater. Altina and Randy can destroy them in one hit. Yuna would take two hits. It depends on the material. It's basically saying that field attacks have uh, varied uses, and depending on your situation, you should switch your uh, main character out at will. I usually just choose whose button I'd like to see the most. And we got, uh, we're getting to Link level 2 really quickly here. That's good. Alright. Check my map again. I actually want to, uh, grab the treasure chest down here first. And that was a Spirit Incense. Not a bad little ditty. Actually, I really should fight this guy. I'm kind of forgetting how far back in levels I am, so... 
every little bit counts here. Kick some ass, you know. Oh. Lame. God, these stats are so low. This is painful. I miss being the god of ass kicking, but uh, I guess that's the price you pay whenever you start a new game, right? They should be like carryover ports if you uh, have clear data. That would be. That would be ideal. That would be too easy. Not that I wouldn't mind it being too easy, but, uh... You know. I also have access to s crafts again, which means, uh... I might feel like using one pretty soon here. I always wanted to see this one in 3D. It's one of my favorites from Aono Kiseki. Good, good times. Inside here is a proxy puppet. If you die with it on, it will restore half your health. Again, the best strategy is never to die in the first place. And we triggered a chain battle. Out of the way. Oh. They get the first crack at me. That's not fair. Death worked on Moylan, at least. Yes. Uh, 
Well, Link battles are still good for experience. I picked up a Defense 1 Quartz, which is uh, going on Altina immediately here. Actually, no, that's wrong. I should have Altina with the Health Quartz. That way all their healths are kind of in the same ballpark here now. Alright. There's a recovery device. And it looks like we're coming up to a boss here. So, we're gonna make a save and, uh... We're gonna try and get ready for this boss that apparently I need uh, to survive an S craft. Sounds entirely brutal. And, uh. Well, I'll see what I can do here. <laughs> ah, it seems you got used to it. I have to imagine Necro Nexus is freaking out right now. Uh, Rose? Uh, why are you here? It seems like you transported here ahead of us. Well, that's the gist of it. So, Orlando, how are the results? I'd give him barely passing marks, I'd say. This might be tough, but go ahead and finish it up. N no way! Wait, the end of this test is... Oh god, that shit-eating grin. I, Vermilion Roselia, leader of the Hexen Clan, shall face you. Show me how you break through the limits imposed on you. And how you'll catch up to the rest of Class 7, and take your instructor back. Perfect. You don't even have to ask. We're gonna go all out. Randy, we're counting on you too. Right. But I'm warning you, she's crazy strong. Don't hold anything back. Well, we'll see what we can do. What? I don't even know if I'll get her to half health at this rate. Alright, Altina. 
Minibus. It's a good thing she's not doing much damage either, or I'd be a bit worried about the state of affairs. How dare you. You know, like that. Mildly annoying. Let's see what we got for arts here. Just healing, huh? Okay, well, that's fine, I guess. Oh, <laughs> 
Well, I'm trying to get the break on her. I don't know if I'm able to pull it off, though. Getting really close here. Really close. I didn't mean to go with Shining, but I guess that works. Uh, I don't have enough to get to Altina's uh, Brave Order here. is dead here, so... No, oh, I know what items do. I guess Kurt's the most likely to die of us, so... Just frickin' hit us already. I did what I could for this fight. I can only hope that it's enough. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh baby. Oh no. Hey, we survived. It's a good thing I know about that trick. Otherwise, whew. Got all our links to level 2 here. And we got everyone up a level. And we got 3 AP for everyone surviving. Hmm, you dodged well. Oh, that was dangerous. So this is the power of the leader of the witches. If we didn't have a strategy, it would have been really dangerous. <laughs> you guys aren't bad. Well, adjusting for your skill level, I'd say you pass. Oh shit, she got way older all of a sudden. Oh, and she's back. I like her cuter form better. Oh, she went back! I did hear about her other form, but... Originally, I divided my power, and that was how Selene was born. But in a place full of spiritual energy like this labyrinth, I can regain my former figure for a time. 
Well, in this form, your proportions are even smaller than Tiosuke's was when I met her. Not to say that there aren't people who are into that body type, but it seems like kind of a waste, don't you think? Instructor Randy. How bothersome. Although he's not nearly as bad as Instructor Reen is. I think I know what you mean. Even though he's so stoic and reliable, he's made girls cry plenty of times. <laughs> Sounds like your instructor had a rough time of it, huh? Well, he brings it on himself, you know? <laughs> well, that should wrap this up. Rest up a bit, and then enter again. Gradually, the monsters will get stronger, so it won't be boring. Th what? No way. You mean this isn't the end, then? Of course not. We said we'd be here for a few days, remember? Until you can make it to the end, you won't be able to go any further. Oh, that sucks, Pats Van. I feel bad for you. Uh... Especially since she has so much health. It was just like pounding a brick wall. Fortunately, there's a good way I know of to recover from fatigue. Feel free to use it to your heart's content. Because from now on, I shall also take this opportunity to take your remaining strength myself. Uh, that seems kind of premature, but I'll do my best to strengthen my resolve. Right, this is our critical moment. To keep my own vow, I have to surpass this wall. Altina's got to get over the barrier. Do, 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 do. Oh, the fairy bathhouse. Um, Kurt, what are you doing in the bath with the girls? Oh! This is called the fairy bath? It really penetrates the skin. The efficacy might be even higher than the branch school's bath. Yeah, but little by little, I feel like I'm gaining back my strength. At first, I was really annoyed by the sluggish, heavy feeling of my own body. Yeah, but then we saw the light. We really need to regain our strength. The others are all investigating. Our equipment and quartz have gone missing, so we have to work to compensate for that as well. <laughs> well, there was a workshop in the village. We should stop by when we get the chance. <laughs> Yeah, good work, kids. We're gonna have to make tomorrow's training even tougher, I think. Oh. Nice work, guys. Sorry we headed in first. Oh, don't worry about it. Enter whenever you wish. Although... You must bear with the fact that there aren't separate men's and women's baths. Now that you mention it... <laughs> oh, Yuna. Oh? Yuna, are you embarrassed? That's why I said I would wait outside. Well, we're all tired, aren't we? There's no difference between men and women in that regard. And it's fine. We have bath clothes on, at least. Although, these outfits could be even more risque than bathing suits, so you might want to be careful. Randy! <laughs> How interesting. Of course, they don't compare to Emma's, but you have quite the promising pair yourself. Now, 
Shall I help you recover from your exhaustion? Th no, stop. No, wrong. Uh, wait a second. Were you like that the whole time? <laughs> oh, this is something to see, isn't it, Kurt? No, I really think you should stop. <laughs> Milliam, I think I can move on. Instructor Reen, wait for me. Yuna and Kurt, we'll meet Muse and Ash again too. We're definitely going to bring you back. Uh, Al, why are you so laid back about all this? Yuna. That sounded kind of perverted. Ah, yes. Your skin's different like I thought. Oh, stop groping me already! Oh, fine. I guess I'll just have to massage you, Al. Um. See? It's so bouncy and soft. Uh, wait, Yuna. Oh, not bad, Yubo. That's it. Go, go. Both of you stop causing trouble right now. <laughs> How cute. I'll make a new save. Why not? And... I guess we can push through a little further. Oh. We got a week-long time skip. August 7. And so Yuna and the others participated in training in the Labyrinth daily. And once they felt like they had begun to regain their strength, they were contacted by the old Class 7. And the next morning, new Class 7 was ready to depart. Oh, there's a guy fishing in the village here. got new outfits for our team. About time. Wow, it's so easy to move around in these clothes. And Al, Kurt, you two look great too. You too, Yuna. I'm surprised. Right, the people of this village had these prepared for us just this morning. Well, we do get magazines from the outside world, so we're caught up on the current trends. Sometimes I myself want to dress young and cool, but Emma's annoying about it. Well, that girl does seem stubborn about things like that. I guess she's just worried about the leader keeping her dignity. Aw, but you'd look so cute if you tried different styles, Rose. In any case, we're finally ready to take a step forward. Right. We need to get our instructor back. A day before... Seriously? You got a clue? Yes, based on our previous study, and a little chance we got from Grandmother's magic. If all goes well, we should be able to find the Gnome's Black Workshop. Oh. That does seem the most likely place for him to be. But how? We don't even know where the workshop base is located. It's a place the witches never learned of, even 800 years ago, when we were working with the gnomes. Perhaps it's in a place with a magical barrier, or perhaps another dimension entirely. But it does seem certain that it's in the Empire somewhere. Given that, there's a certain hand we can play. Because of the influence of the Twilight, the Septium Veins have become even more agitated. 
Among all the strangeness in the magical power, there are a few points that are singularities. According to my spiritual senses, there are seven such places. The old class seven has already covered Kreutzen, Nortia, and Nord. As well as Sutherland and La Mer. That leaves two areas yet to be explored. If you drive a spiritual wedge in each of the seven singularities, it might pinpoint the blank spot where we should find the workshop. I see. It's like a spiritual sonar device. I see. Basically, the idea is not to locate the factory directly, but to instead locate a place that can't be penetrated by spiritual energy. At least, in theory it seems like it should be possible. Oh, I get it. And with that... Well, what Roselia is saying is fundamentally a possibility. The locations of the other two places are unknown to us as well, so the chances of success seem low. Even still, we'd like to bet on this. Yeah, even if it's only a small chance it'll lead to Reen. <laughs> Guys. Right. We'll count on this too, then. Please, let us help. <laughs> I'm certain we can figure it out if we divide and conquer. Leave the singularities to the east and to the north, to us. We'll be counting on you, new Class 7. Right. Alright, we're heading out, Roselia. You were all able to pass the training. It seems your spirits have recovered as well. Now take heart, and start your journey. Right. We'll be counting on you even more now, Instructor Randy. Of course, I have to gather information myself, so I'll be coming along. We might come across some clues about Teosuke along the way. That's right. Let's gather more information while we fight towards our goal. As we said before, please search Sutherland State for a point of spiritual singularity. You have the things I gave you, right? Yes. Oh man, she's giving us a stake. By driving these into the singularity, we will find the place we need. That pendant looks like the one Emma gave to the instructor. It is made of a material that reacts to spiritual power. In addition to being a marker for singularities, it's also a useful item to connect the village to the outside world. First, head to the transportation stone out of town in the magic forest. <laughs> hey, Necro. Uh, you, you missed some things. We got to fight Roselia for some training. And we're in the witch's village. But no, we didn't miss too, too much. <laughs> By using the transportation stone there, you will emerge in the great forest. Oh, right. Before you go, there's a message from the villagers I almost forgot to relay. There's a message for us? Yes, from Riser at the inn and Gandalf at the workshop. Or Gandalf. And Euclid is waiting at the center of town. They each have something they want to give you, it seems. They have something for us? Wow, the villagers have really helped us out. Well, let's go around and see them, then. <laughs> Apparently, we got some costumes. Uh... Yeah, I received the guide.
So, hat on, hat off. Hat in the opposite orientation. And we're just, uh... <laughs> Use the guide! I mean, I intend to, but my guide is basically Get Brave Seed when talking to the Witch Aura. HP, EP, B Soul. Blah, 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 blah. There's a lot of. <laughs> There's a lot of things. Uh, let's see. There's stuff I need to do that'll help me cut at least 20 hours of gameplay. What? Anyway, let's talk to Ryza at the end here. Oh, you came. Yes, Rose told us. It sounded like you have something you want to give us. Yes, it's not something important, but... If you're leaving the village, there may be some time for you to cook for yourselves. So I figured I'd give you this. Receive the cooking notebook. Oh, a cooking notebook. It seems like the one Instructor Reen used to use. <laughs> I'm glad you can use it. And also, take these recommended recipes as well. Got the potato chowder recipe and three of each ingredient it needs. But all of this... I feel bad just taking it. Oh, you're young. So please, don't hold back. You won't be able to fight on an empty stomach after all. You don't know what's waiting for you out there, so it's best to make sure you have adequate supplies. Ryza, thank you so much. Yeah, this really helps. Got the cooking notebook. Now we can do all the cooking. That I will obviously neglect to do. But I mean, I might as well show it off. See, check it out. He's like grayed out on the on the status screen. That's cool. Well, nobody can uh, like master this right now, so I'm just gonna make a really bad one. Or you know, just an average one, I guess. Eh, whatever. Talk to the guy fishing in the middle of town here. Excuse us, you're Euclid, right? Do you have a moment? Ah, I was waiting for you. It seems you wanted to give us something? Is it related to fishing, perhaps? <laughs> I won't hide it, it's definitely connected to fishing. I often leave the village to gather information about the outside world. And actually, my hobby is as a member of the Imperial Fishing Club. I'd love for you to register. The Imperial Fishing Club? That's a professional fishing organization that belongs to the Lake Lord Company, right? Oh, Instructor Reen had a classmate who was in that group, didn't he? Ah, so you guys are rivals of the Public Fishing Division in Crossbell. But what do we have to do with that? Well, the fishing prowess of the Ashen Chevalier is well known within our club. And it sounds like the club wants to know if its students are interested too. <laughs> I see. But it sounds like you lost your bait and your fishing notebook. I can't abandon others who love to fish as much as I do. So, I figured I'd give you these. Received a fishing rod. Five times bait. And a fishing notebook. This is the same one Instructor Reen used. I feel bad just taking it. Well, you guys are having a hard time, so you should be able to make use of these. You can trade in the fish you catch for various parts, too. And when you catch enough fish of a certain type, you'll get extra perks, so make sure to make use of that. I see. That sounds very useful. Lastly, because of the curse, the fish have changed. 
It sounds like even new types of fish have been seen. It'd be good to keep that in mind. Understood. We will. Are we going to catch, like, Cthulhu fish or something? Uh... Well, whatever. I don't know if this blue star girl is translated here or not. It is not. Okay, cool. So, I don't know what she's talking about. But she gave us a book. Okay, so that sounds like that's the mark for an NPC with something missable. Okay, cool. the witch we need to talk to? Okay, it is. And she gives us a brave seat for bothering her. From the looks of it, it looks like their dog died. Or cat? That's a flying feline. Well, whatever. I don't know why she's keeping a monster in her home. Gandalf here next. And talk to our buddy here. Oh, you came. Sorry to make you come all the way out here. It's not a problem at all. It sounded like you have something you want to give us. Yeah, I figured I'd give you guys a rare quartz. Here, take it. Receive the Analyze R quartz. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> not at all. But you can't insert that into your orbits just yet. What do you mean? Well, it's a common thing when you use battle orbits. You mean the Arcus 2 received an update? Yes, exactly. Oh, right. The Enigma units had a similar thing happen, I recall. And the original Arcus units were the same way. So, in order to use those orbits properly, you need to upgrade the slots. So basically, don't get used to anything. Anyway, it's not much, but try this out. Got 60 sepith of each element. That's a lot of sepith. <laughs> this guy really helps us out a lot. You guys are important guests. Don't be silly. So, basically saying, hey, go ahead and upgrade your slots. Upgrading your slots is the key to combat. So, we'll upgrade Altina Yuna's first slot for now. Alright, so now that that slot's upgraded... Yep, it's all thanks to you. <laughs> I'm glad I could help. One more thing. In addition to the version upgrade, the functionality's been enhanced as well. The restrictions on the Submaster Quartz have been lifted. You can reuse the Submaster Quartz as many times as you want. I see. So, taking Yuna's Master Court Scald, for example. Besides Yuna, Instructor Randy, Altina, and I could all use it as the subcourts now, right? That's exactly right. I figured you guys would pick it up. <laughs> that sounds pretty incredible. 
Yeah, it really does. Let's make sure we don't forget to set that up. Well, I'll leave it to you then. You can also modify your weapons here. Review your equipment and stop by if you like. So now we can customize weapons. And we can make quartz and stuff at the uh, shops here. <laughs> They're throwing a lot of tutorials at us. Remember to set your sub, Master Quartz. Alright, we've gone everywhere we need to go now. Yeah, so we just need to head out to the Magic Forest. The Magic Forest. We'll be able to pass through to Sutherland from there. After all, this place is sort of inside the Istima Great Forest. Anyway, let's head out of the village for now. Yeah, let's go. Well, we could, but... I want to make sure I got all the sub-events. I need to do some fishing. And... I want to exchange some of these. He doesn't have any Master Quartz for sale. He does have some nice accessories, though. What the hell is the Nokuto Watch? Do we... Is this a necessary item? I don't know. It doesn't seem important. And it costs way too much mirror at this point in the game, so... second copy of this book here. And... I'll make it a little easier to fish for right now. purchase some weapons. Are they actually selling them here, or are they elsewhere? Whatever. Okay, I don't know where they are. It doesn't matter. Well, let's catch a fish. Hey. Huh. Okay, the timing's a little bit different. Well, I caught a guppy. That's, uh, Kasagan. One of 30, so they definitely expanded the, uh, the things here. Is there any other fish I can get here? I don't know. I can't freaking read that. Kasagan Snowshoe Love Kanjero Culp? What the hell does that even mean? Are there more fish in there, or aren't there? Eh. <sighs> I'll try again. Doesn't look like it. Alright. Got 24 times, Sephith. And... 
a Ganeshiro? Huh. Weird name for a fish. Well, whatever. I think that's everything I need to do. Using a guide is a real pain in the ass when it's not in actual English. Oh, there's some blue stars at, at that hot spring there. Maybe I should go check that out, too. It's probably just, uh, go in here. Recover your CP. Oh, they have a nice little uh, scene for this, too. And Roselli is coming in to ruin the fun. <laughs> Wait, that restores your brave points too? That's kind of incredible. Alright. Well, let's head on up. Let's head on out then. Okay, we've made it. I was thinking this in the labyrinth too, but the witch's power is incredible. So the labyrinth is beyond here. And the transportation stone to Sutherland should be along the path to the right. went missing. That's why. Anyway. I'm in another area. I don't know which area I'm in. Okay, there's nothing back here. Seriously. maps, but I have no idea which map corresponds to where I'm at right now, because it doesn't look like anything I've seen. Oh, seriously. That's not it. I mean, this is the Devil's Forest, so it should be this first map here. Check this out first. And there's a stone here. Looks kind of like the way I need to go. Hmm. 